Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been an eventful weekend for us uh, this weekend. Um, last night we went to see Pink at Hamden. Um, really good, it was Connie's first concert. Um, did get a, a couple of photos, a bit blurry, obviously just using my phone. A um, couple of little video clips, I'll put them in at, at the end of this video I think. Um, but we've uh, parked up, because we were in the centre of Glasgow, it's quite quite limited for some place to park. Um, but a good park up that I did find um, was the the Museum of Transport. Um, and it just turns out that we've woken up in the morning. It's only £3 to park overnight here, uh, which is really good. Uh, but come 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, then you, you, obviously the parking fees uh, go up in price a little bit. So it's something like £5 for two hours. Um, for a four hour park it's £7.50, something along these lines. Uh, but it, like I was saying, it turns out that there's an actual show on here today, uh, the Jaguar Scottish Extravaganza. Um, so I'm going to have a wee walk around, have a look at the cars, let you guys see them as well. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Jaguars, I've, I've never had one. Um, some of them can be quite expensive. So we'll go around, we'll get some footage, have a look at the cars. Just to let you see as well, um, before this car park fills up too much, there we are in the corner there. Um, quite a big car park here, and it's got the uh, it's got the repayment thing there, as you can see behind me. Um, so you can use the the Ringo app to pay when you turn up as well if you've not got any change in your in your person. But yeah, uh, it's quite uh, quite a surprise for me today that all these Jaguars, as you can see, all the Jaguars have turned up. So it's still half an hour before it opens, it's only half past nine just now. Some of them are still arriving, um, but I'm going to go and have a, a wee look around the ones that are already here. Absolutely lovely, there's not a ding on it, eh? Oh, no, it's, it's just all <laughs> Oh, it's, it looks stunning. Thank you. 
well guys, I'm really enjoying walking around these Jaguars and I've just spotted something really cool on this one. Um, so you know they've got the Jaguars on the bonnet. One of them's obviously a little bit cold, so as you can see, I've got his wee jumper on it, keep him cosy. Look at this one here guys, absolute stunning. Love it. Like if you look at the lines of this, I don't know if it shows up there, but it just seems to stick out. The doors, the curves on it are absolutely massive. Yeah, it's something else. It's got the wee pinstripe white wall tires on there as well. Don't know if you can see through the glass there, but it's got uh, it's got the wee dining table dropouts there for back seat passengers. Obviously a luxurious car. And the way the wee, the rear wings come down there like that, absolutely lovely. So I've never seen one before, Jaguar 420G. And this one here guys, this is one of the loud new ones. I don't know what year it would be, but certainly more modern than what I've been looking at. Still a lovely machine. You see the exhaust system on this. So I heard this one starting up and it's loud. An F type. I think it kind of gives a wee nod to the E type, so the shape of it. always quite like these cars. They push out about, this one's about 300 brake horsepower. We've got a 1970s model here. Obviously badge the Daimler this one. I like that gold, makes it look quite classy. I don't know if it shows up on this video, but the chrome works absolutely beautiful. Right guys, so we've been speaking to this gentleman that owns this car, and in the back, he's actually got a full on motorbike. So, we've asked him to very kindly take it out, and we'll have a look for the channel. It's called a De, De Blase, did you say? De Blase. De Blase. And it's a full of motorbike in a suitcase, guys. Well, this is something else, isn't it? And what CC is this? So it's a 50 CC. A bit tricky to we'll unfold. Not been in ages. Is there a tool? So unfortunately Gino didn't get that little 50cc started up there. Um, quite an interesting thing, interesting guy to track to as well. He's, uh, he's into the bikes, he's got CBX and stuff uh, that's fully restored. Um, so yeah, um, shame that bike didn't start up, but it's interesting to see all the same.
a bit of an eventful weekend for us here. Um, and obviously, I had to come in here for a quick look around. Um, I've not got any content of the Transport Museum itself. I'm sure I've maybe done a, a video on this place before. Um, like I say, uh, it was just it just so happened to be luck that we saw the the Jaguar extravaganza outside. So we're going to wrap this video up here today anyway. Um, I think we're going to pack up and head back home. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.